my experience in the lockdown was uh, I would say it, it was okay however it wasn't hard per se it was uh, it was really flexible and I can manage my time uh, pretty well it was I guess a bit chaotic at first because we didn't know really what to do because we had to go um, back early because my mum's autoimmune and my younger brother has the same uh, disease as well so we had to like go home a week early so that was fun and all but I missed out on a lot of my wood projects so I had to come back and finish them after the lockdown. So Hornby High School is a Decile 3 secondary school. Probably most significantly we are a Manaya Kalani school. Being a Manaya Kalani school a lot of my program was already digital so moving onto a digital platform wasn't difficult for me. All my students they were used to I go onto my teacher's site there's my work for the week I fill it in I post it on my blog I'm done. Having Google Meets, which is where the kids met the class teacher and the classmates three times a week. He didn't like those, but he did them. He would do them, but he had his camera off so no one could see him. Um, but he did do them, and I also used that to be able to have a meeting with the teacher several times. When we didn't understand something, we would send her an email, we would click on a Google Meet and we were there face to face and she could talk us through how to do something. Google Meets was also a lot easier to use in Zoom as well, so we had to do that. And yeah, uh, the teachers knew what they were doing. The school felt that they were like giving us too many video calls and stuff like that. Mm. So we did have to slow down on the video calls. So we only got like um, one video call a day or so because yeah, people felt like overwhelmed with all the video calls that we're having in one day, so they did slow it down. The one piece of the puzzle that we weren't as prepared for as we would have liked was the relational work, the, the well-being work around the students. We very quickly set up uh, systems that meant that we were in contact with Fano and contact with our learners uh, and tracking uh, their well-being as well. Connecting personally with over a hundred families is very, very difficult to do in lockdown. I'm lucky that the system that we work with, I have amazing form teachers, so they contacted their families and then passed up to me who I might need to contact further. If I couldn't get hold of them, our amazing community worker got hold of them. Um, if they needed food packages, we were able to send them out. But in terms of pastoral connections, it could be very difficult to manage and maintain those relationships during lockdown. The teachers, they would check in with our mental welfare by like video calls and stuff like that, they'll just say, um, how are you doing today? What was, what you've done today? My well-being in the lockdown um, was aided by, by teachers, um, by peers as well, by friends, um, by my family as well, who is uh, suffering the lockdown with me, as well as uh, my family who are overseas. Um, especially my teachers has, uh, have um, have told me that they are, um, they, are they, they will be there to support me. We had certain classes that were just for school work and then there would be like a, a video call that would just be just pop and check and see how you're doing. The hardest thing I found was contacting fa families and Fano and actually hearing their experiences because we, we were all going through it but it's very hard to hear when somebody else is really suffering, whether it was their mental health or they couldn't get access to food or they'd lost their jobs and they were really upset. I think undoubtedly the most positive thing was what we've seen around um, giving students agency. Um, and so we had students who, whether they were directed to or not, uh, simply flew with their learning. They did amazing. Some of the kids who really struggled to sit still in a classroom, being at home away from others. One of my students who is constantly in trouble was excelling. When the online stuff came through from Hornby High, um, it was really different. The change in him was quite incredible. There were still days that Rory battled and I don't want to do it today. But once he got into it, he was really interested. Like he was given a reading assignment on the Monday and he had done the reading assignment and submitted it back to his teacher by the end of the same day and that he's never ever done in his entire life.
I also think that I'd like to look at where possible allowing students to continue working beyond the hour that they're with me. So um, a lot of the feedback that we had was kids liked to start a project and just keep going until they finished it. What I did enjoy was um, the fact that I did have more time to do stuff that I wanted to do at home. So I could like relax like half the day, then worry about the rest later that night or so and do it during the day. One thing that I would like to keep would be like, um, I suppose we get more time to do online stuff at home. Instead of like having to do it all in one period, we can do it at home whenever we want, I guess. Something I think I'll do less of is talking, as odd as that sounds. I think it's, re and by talking I mean direct instruction. If I can give it to them in a different way, then I will. So if that's a video so that they can rewind it later and come back to it if they've forgotten, or have my written instructions more clearly, then I'll continue to do that. There's a lot of conversation going on here now around what we're going to take forward from here. Uh, is lessons uh, from that learning from home period. Uh, I, th I think the agency thing is critical and I've already started to talk with our teachers here um, around what that might look like. I learnt about Rory, how he works, how he, how he takes things on at school, how he, how he is what he is. Mm. Yeah, what makes Rory tick. Um, seeing him get an assignment and how he works through that assignment was pretty incredible.